So you just got a hyaluronic acid injection for knee arthritis, and you're probably wondering what happens next. Is this soreness normal? Will you start feeling relief? And what should you avoid so you don't waste the injection? Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. I'm a sports medicine physician currently practicing in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I've treated thousands of patients using injections like hyaluronic acid. In this video, I'm gonna show you what's normal to feel in the days after, when the relief usually kicks in, the key mistakes to avoid, and how to set yourself up for the longest lasting benefits. Let's first start off with what hyaluronic actually is and whether it works. Hyaluronic acid is a gel-like substance that naturally exists in our joints. It acts like both a lubricant and a shock absorber, allowing the knee to glide smoothly. But when arthritis wears down the cartilage, the amount and quality of this natural cushioning decreases, and this leads to stiffness and pain. So the idea behind these injections is pretty straightforward we're restoring some of that lost cushioning back into the joint. Multiple randomized controlled trials, systematic reviews, and meta-analyses have shown that hyaluronic acid injections can effectively improve symptoms of knee arthritis. And a recent large study from Korea involving nearly 37,000 patients found that those who received hyaluronic acid injections delayed knee replacement surgery by more than a year compared to those who didn't get hyaluronic acid. Even more interesting, patients who received the single-shot formulations had the longest delay and repeating the injections over time provided even greater benefit. So let's talk about what you should actually expect after your injection. First, it's completely normal to feel some mild soreness, stiffness, or even swelling in the knee for the first few days up to a week. That's your body reacting to the injection itself, and for most people, it settles down on its own. Now, a small number of people can develop an acute flare-up with pain and swelling. This usually happens within the first 6 to 24 hours. It's important to point out that this is not an infection. We think what's happening here is something called a mast cell reaction. Mast cells are part of your immune system, and when they get irritated, they release histamine. That histamine causes swelling, warmth, and pain in the joint. The good news here is that this reaction is short-lived and can actually settle down with rest or an antihistamine like Zyrtec, Claritin, or Benadryl. But that brings up one of the biggest concerns patients have after any joint injection. What if the pain is a sign that something is wrong? The good news here is that infections after hyaluronic acid injections are exceedingly rare. In fact, that large Korean study of nearly 37,000 patients reported infection rates well under 1%, with many groups showing rates closer to zero. With that said, it's still important to know the warning signs. Unlike the short-term soreness or swelling that usually improves within a few days, an infection tends to get worse over time. Red flags include increasing pain, significant swelling, warmth, redness that spreads, fever, or feeling unwell. If you notice those types of symptoms, especially if they appear a few days after the injection rather than immediately, you should contact your doctor right away. Okay, now let's talk about what you should do after your hyaluronic acid injection. The most important rule is to take it easy for the first 48 to 72 hours. That means avoiding strenuous activity, long periods of standing, or high impact exercise. Think of this time as a window for your knee to calm down and adjust to the injection. Light walking around the house is fine, but skip the long hikes, the heavy workouts, or spending hours on your feet. Giving your knee a short break now actually helps you get the most benefit in the long run. During this period, icing the knee for 10 to 15 minutes at a time and keeping it elevated can help with swelling or soreness. One thing that I try to recommend to my patients is to avoid for at least five to seven days anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen or naproxen. Now that might sound surprising, but hyaluronic acid works in part by triggering a mild inflammatory response that promotes healing. So taking NSAIDs too soon can actually blunt that effect. If you need something for discomfort, acetaminophen is usually the safer option. Now after the first few days of the injection, you can gradually start moving back into your normal routine. 
Light walking, gentle stretching, and low impact activities are fine, but save the harder workouts, sports, or long days on your feet until at least a week has passed. Most people start to notice meaningful pain relief somewhere around 10 to 15 days after the injection. And then afterwards, the benefits really start to get better over the following weeks. Once you're past that first week or two window, the best way to maximize the benefit of your injection is to pair it with exercise. Research consistently shows that strengthening the muscles around the knee, especially the quadriceps, the hamstrings, glutes, calves, that helps reduce pain, improve function, and extend how long the injection lasts. I usually recommend patients start with a simple home exercise program or guided physical therapy about one to two weeks after the injection. This gives the joint enough time to calm down while still taking advantage of the early improvements in pain. And if you're looking for an easy at-home exercise program, check out this video next where I'll walk you through the exact knee arthritis rehab program that I give my own patients to help them get stronger, move with confidence, and stay active.